Hi, I've got question 12 from step 2, 2017 here, probability question. Uh, and it's about Adam and Eve catching fish. Uh, Adam is catching uh, fish at a Poisson rate lambda, uh, and Eve catching uh, at a Poisson rate mu, and the independent Poisson variables. Uh, so it says consider the probability that x plus y is equal to r, and show that the total number of fish by caught by Adam and Eve in t is also Poisson distributed. Now you probably know that when you add two Poisson distributions together, you get a Poisson distribution with a combined rate. So we're expecting a Poisson distribution rate lambda plus mu here, but uh, we need to really prove that by doing what they say. So the probability that x plus y is equal to r, okay, well, uh, how could that come about? We could have uh, x is 0 and y is r, or we might have x equals 1, y is r minus 1, 2 and r minus 2, or we could all the way up to x being r and y being 0. So we're going to need to add together here uh, the uh, all of these the probabilities of these different things that could happen. So uh, the probability that x equals k and y equals let me get rid of this now uh, r minus k. Okay, and we'll sum that from k equals zero to r. Okay, so each of the terms in this sum can can uh, corresponds to one of those possibilities we had here. So this is a joint probability, but x and y are independent, so that allows me to split up uh, the probability here to be the probability that x equals k times the probability that y equals r minus k. And now we know that these are both uh, Poisson distributions, so we need to know the PDF of the Poisson distribution here. Um, for rate lambda for x, we've got e to the minus lambda, lambda to the k divided by k factorial, and rate mu for y, so that's e to the minus mu, uh, mu to the r minus k divided by r minus k factorial. And now we want to think a little bit about uh, where we want to go with this. We want to turn this into a Poisson probability, and as we said, we're expecting it to be uh, rate lambda plus mu. So somewhere at the end of this argument, I'd like this to end up as e to the minus lambda plus mu times uh, lambda plus mu to the r divided by r factorial. So we might know where we're going. Uh, um, we could use that, or otherwise we'll just have to try and follow our instincts about the sums. So, well, we do have the e to the minus lambda and e to the minus mu terms here. They don't have any k dependency on them, so I can pull them out of the sum. So that does give me e to the minus lambda times e to the minus mu. So that's e to the minus uh, lambda plus mu. And then, uh, now if I want this r factorial term as well, it's going to be useful to, to pull that out. Again, that doesn't depend on k, just on the, 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 the upper limit for the sum, so that's fine. Uh, and then inside the sum, what have we got? k equals 0 to r. Uh, if we can put the factorial terms together, I've got r factorial over k minus k factorial, r minus k factorial. Then I've got lambda to the k times mu to the r minus k, and if you think about this sum, this is just a binomial expansion, I've got the binomial coefficients here, r choose k, uh, in, in this part, and uh, so this whole, you know, this whole thing here is just equal to r choose k, okay, different ways of writing that, uh, and then I've got lambda to the k times mu to the r minus k, that's exactly the sort of term that we get in a binomial expansion, uh, something from 0 to r here, so this is e to the minus lambda plus mu divided by r factorial times uh, lambda plus mu to the r, which is exactly uh, what we want, that's the probability that a Poisson variable with rate lambda plus mu is equal to r, and so we've uh, shown exactly what we were asked to show there. Now moving on to part 2, it says given Adam and Eve catch a total of k fish in time t, uh, where k is fixed, showed the number caught by Adam as a binomial distribution. So we've got uh, here the probability that uh, we want to, to know what's the probability that uh, Adam catches a certain number, so let's say the probability that x equals x, conditional on the total 
uh, amount x plus y being equal to uh, k. Okay, so I've got a conditional probability here, so we can just apply the ordinary conditional probability formula here. So this is the probability that x equals x and x plus y equals k divided by the probability that uh, x plus y equals k. And now, um, if we think about the numerator, uh, x is x and x plus y is k, that's the same thing as saying x is x and y is equal to k minus x, but x and y are independent, so again I can split that probability up and write this as the probability that x equals x times the probability that y equals k minus x, and then we're going to divide that by the probability that x plus y equals k. And the nice thing here is that we know that x and y are a Poisson already, and we've just proven in the first part that x plus y is also Poisson with rate a lambda plus mu. So these are all Poisson probabilities. So this one here, I've got e to the minus lambda, lambda to the x divided by x factorial. Here I've got e to the minus mu times mu to the k minus x divided by uh, k minus x factorial. And on the bottom, I've got this Poisson probability, so e to the minus lambda plus mu times lambda plus mu to the k divided by k factorial. It's a bit of an ugly fraction, um, but with a little bit of thought we can see a fair amount that, that cancels here. This uh, e to the minus lambda, e to the minus mu will cancel with the e to the minus lambda plus, uh, plus mu here. And then what have I got left? Okay, uh, well I've got k factorial divided by x factorial, k minus x factorial, just think about this carefully, check the right things are in the numerators and denominators, and I've got lambda to the x, mu to the k minus x, divided by um, lambda plus mu to the k, and we want to show that this is a binomial probability, uh, so you know for a binomial probability I want something like, I want it to be something like uh, n choose r times uh, p to the r times, uh, well, q, I could write, or let's write 1 minus p to the n minus r. That's my standard binomial formula. Okay, I can see I've got exactly the n choose r term here. It's actually k choose x. So I'm looking for something k choose x here times uh, p to the x times 1 minus p to the n minus, uh, what's well, the k minus x in this case. So I've almost got it, right? It's like lambda to the x, mu to the k minus x, those two, you know, that sort of works, but they don't add, a, add together to give one, and I've still got this thing on the bottom. So the key here is that we want to split this lambda plus mu to the k as a lambda plus mu to the, to the x times lambda plus mu to the k minus x, and then we can view this whole thing as k factorial over x factorial k minus x factorial, lambda over lambda plus mu to the x, and then mu over lambda plus mu to the k minus x. And we do now have uh, a binomial probability, so this is the probability that a binomial distribution, uh, which has parameters uh, uh, k and the success probability lambda over lambda plus mu, takes value x, uh, which is exactly what we wanted to show. And if you think about this, this does uh, make sense in a way. I mean, uh, given that I have uh, k uh, arrivals, um, well, if you like, the, the rate kind of determines the intensity of arrivals of type x and of type y here, you know, fish for Adam and fish for Eve. So if you know, Adam's rate is higher, that means he's catching more fish on average. So for any given fish, essentially, uh, you know, uh, well, the, the ratio of fish that he catches to to the ones that Eve catches will be lambda to mu. Okay, um, and actually this runs into the uh, part three. So I'm actually going to write. Uh, let's write part three uh, just here because it's quite short. It says, given Adam and Eve start fishing at the same time, find the probability that the first fish is caught by Adam. Okay, so essentially we're saying, what's the probability that uh, Adam catches the first fish? given that Adam and Eve have caught one fish between them. 
right? This is, uh, you know, someone's going to catch the first fish. So when we get to x plus y being 1, we're saying what's the probability that, that x is 1, and, and of course, hence y is 0. Um, so actually putting, you can either put x and k into this formula, uh, and, you know, we see this term is 0, this is 1, and this is 1. So I just end up with lambda over lambda plus mu, or again, thinking about it logically, um, you know, uh, this, this, sh this should make sense from the rates because, you know, um, every lambda fish, you know, if, if uh, Adam's catching the rate lambda and Eve at rate mu to have that ratio, you know, the probability uh, that Adam catches uh, any given fish, so given that one fish is caught between them, probability that he catches any given one is this, and for Eve it would be mu over lambda plus mu, and we see those two add together to get to give one. Okay, so there we go. In the last part here, we're told that given uh, we have a Poisson distribution with rate with the parameter theta, the expected time from any starting point until the next event is theta to the minus one. So, given we've just caught a fish, say we expect to have to wait theta to the, one over theta time to catch the next one. It says find the expected time from the moment Adam and Eve start fishing until they've caused at least one fish, and so, given we've just been asked to work out the probability that the first fish is caught by Adam, it looks like that's a sensible thing to condition on. So let's say uh, A is the event the first fish is caught by Adam, that has probability uh, lambda divided by lambda plus mu. And in that case, well, when they first start fishing, uh, it's a Poisson distribution rate lambda plus mu for the first, so the first uh, fish, the first arrival here will happen after time 1 over lambda plus mu, because of the uh, result we're given in the question. But uh, the first one will be Adam's in this case, so when we wait for the second one, it will be waiting for Eve's fish, so that's a Poisson distribution with rate mu, so we wait a further 1 over mu time. Uh, whereas if B uh, is the event that uh, Eve catches the first fish, that's going to have probability mu divided by lambda plus mu, and in this case, we're going to wait 1 over lambda plus mu plus 1 over lambda time uh, by an identical argument. So the expected value of our overall waiting time is just the expected value of t conditional that Adam catches the first fish times the probability of that happening plus the expected value of t given b times the probability of b. Uh, well, I now just write all of these things in. So I have here uh, that... Uh, so this one is 1 over lambda plus mu plus 1 over mu uh, times lambda over lambda plus mu. And then here uh, we have 1 over lambda plus mu um, plus 1 over lambda times mu over lambda plus mu. Okay, so that's the expected time. And if you're not asked to simplify the result here, I think it's fine uh, to leave it uh, to, to leave it as it is there. Um, although it is possible if you want to, and I'll leave it as a challenge rather than going through the algebra here. But it's possible to simplify this if you want to, and you should get one over lambda plus one over mu minus one over lambda plus mu. But um, you know, if you've got this far and got it right uh, for the context of the step paper, you'd get all of the all of the marks here. Okay, so I hope that was useful. Um, please uh, subscribe uh, below and like the video if it was, and uh, I will see you in the next one.